In this video, we discuss the nature of applications and look at how to justify suitable applications for a specific purpose. So everything that makes up a computer system falls into one of two very broad categories. We have hardware and software. Hardware is all the physical parts of a computer system and its related devices, both internal or external. So we're talking things like motherboards, hard drives and RAM, as well as things like monitors, keyboard, mice and printers. Software is a very general term that covers all computer programs. Again, most software falls into broad categories, such as application, system or utility software. So as we've just said, a computer system is made up of both hardware and software. Software can be further broken down into system software and application software. And system software can be broken down one more step into operating systems and utility software. We're going to be looking at this in more details in a later video. But briefly, just as an overview, operating systems are things such as Windows, Linux, iOS or Android. Utility software are things like antivirus programs, defragmentation, programs that do backup, compression and firewalls. And application software is really everything else. It covers a really broad range of software, from presentation to word processors, through to web browsers, communications, games, multimedia, and much, much more. Now, there are so many different types of application software that it would be impossible to have a detailed knowledge of them all. You are, however, expected to have a knowledge and experience of a range of the most common categories. For example, word processors, databases, web browsers, etc. Also, based on a given scenario, you should be able to recommend, with an appropriate justification, the use of both generic and specific applications. So what do we mean by a generic application? Well, a word processor is an excellent example of a generic application. It doesn't have a very specific or very narrow purpose. You can use it to carry out many different tasks and meet multiple needs. You can even use it for tasks that actually might be better served by a more bespoke application. For example, there's nothing wrong or nothing stopping you using a word processor to produce a flyer or a poster, but you could argue that a desktop publishing program or graphics program may be better suited. As such, generic applications such as word processors and presentation tools um, tend to be the most commonly installed and used products as they allow the user to be productive in a wide variety of ways. In contrast, database software is an example of a very specific application because beyond creating, managing and using a database, it has very little use. Being highly specific and bespoke to a given task makes it almost essential for creating a serious database application. Now, you could argue that you could get away with duplicating some of its functionality in a more generic application, such as a spreadsheet, but you'd stu soon start to hit some stumbling blocks. Specific application software therefore only intends to be installed on systems where there's a direct need for it. So let's have a look at a typical example that you might get in an exam. So we have a scenario, an independent games development company that makes apps for mobile phones and tablets is setting up a new office. Suggest and justify the application software they might need. So we've provided a few answers on the screen here. Now for almost any scenario, you could most certainly say word processors as long as you justify why. So here we've said to produce progress reports, take minutes at design meetings and capture bug reports. Of course, there's more specific application software, which certainly would be appropriate for this scenario, but not for others. 
So you've been told here they're a games company and they're making apps for mobile phones. So they're definitely going to need some sort of software development tools for writing and debugging code. They're more than likely going to want some form of graphic manipulation software so they can produce the assets for the game. The important thing here is whatever application you suggest, you provide appropriate justifications in the context of the scenario. So on the screen here, we've listed 12 broad software application categories and provided five examples of actual products which you may be aware of that fall under each category. Now this list is far from exhaustive, but it gives you an idea of the sort of applications we're talking about and the categories they fall into. Now just one little word of caution, be careful about using actual brand names in the exam. Where possible, you should really avoid this. Many products these days are so synonymous with that application category that it can be very easy to say, I would recommend Microsoft Word for writing a letter. When ideally in the exam, what you should be saying is I would recommend a word processor for writing a letter. So having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. In what ways do typical businesses use application software?